This morning we're going to have a couple of monologues of two of what I believe are the most important conversations that Jesus had with man while he was on the earth. Would you welcome Pat Parker today as she comes to give her monologue today. I am a very old lady. It takes me a few minutes. I'm here to tell you about the story. The worst day and the best day of my life. I am here to give you encouragement to show you that a conversation with our God of the universe can have it with you every day. He is always waiting to talk to you. And this is how my story went. History does not mention my name, for who I am is not important. Many others have come and gone through time, and their names weren't mentioned either. But there is one person that knows my name, and that's God. He knows my name, and I know him now. I'm a Jewish lady who we served the Ten Commandments, we lived by it, we knew our rules, we knew the expanded amount of the Ten Commandments. And so, but the Jewish leaders in the temple, they they hated this man named Jesus. Now, (laughs) I'd never met him. I, I, I don't know. But I'd heard his name. And he was teaching something that they were so jealous about that they didn't like what he was teaching. He was teaching a different way. Yes, he knew the laws. He knew the rules. But he also was teaching a different way a way of forgiveness, and a way of love, love. Well, again, life has a way of when you try to live by the rules and the laws and things you know, and you do the best that you can, but life comes in And it takes you a a different way, one you had never planned on. It wasn't that you were trying to go the different way, but little by little, things creep in. Oh, yeah. My heart is so grieved. And you go a different way. So a group of people from the temple came to the door that I was at, I'm an adulteress. And I was with this married man. Now they all knew that we had been together forever, a long time, he was still married and I was single. But no one ever paid attention to us. They let us just do our thing. But then one day when this Jesus was teaching in the temple, They wanted to prove him wrong. They were so jealous. They didn't want the people listening to him because if they did, then they would follow him and not the leaders of the synagogue, of the temple. So they put a bunch of people that came after me, pulled me out of this man's house in the middle of it all, and they took me to the temple. And they threw me in there in front of this man named Jesus, sitting about right over there. Well, I knew I was going to die that day. I knew that I would be stoned to death. 
because that's what happens when you break one of the Ten Commandments. I was so afraid. I knew that this Jesus knew the rules, knew the laws. He, he knew all that. And yet, there was something different about him, but I knew for surely I would die. So I put my hands over my head, protected it from the stones that were going to come for me, because they all had them in their hands. And so they said to him, trying to trap him, Jesus, this lady has committed adultery. Our laws say, thou shalt not commit adultery, and, or you'll get stoned to death. You know that. <laughs> Here it comes. Here it comes. I'm going to die. But all of a sudden, Jesus walks out to the dust in the temple and he starts writing. He's writing something. Now I'm over here like this, preparing to get stoned. And they've all got him in their hands. And they read this. And I'm hiding it one by one. I hear this thump, 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 all over the temple floor where the people were dropping their stones. And as I'm looking down, I see this one old man's legs go over here. And then I see others come by. And pretty soon, there's no one there but Jesus. Jesus. He walks over to me and he says, where are your accusers? Where are they? Neither do I accuse you. Go and sin no more. This was one of the most wonderful conversations that I had when I was a young woman with the Lord because he forgave me. He didn't care what I was doing or my past. He didn't care about my past. He loved me and he showed it. But I knew that they were trapping him because the man that was in adultery also, they didn't bring him. I was a weak person. I couldn't fight him, but they let him stay back. And they took me because I was weak. And in that day, women had no rights. We had no rights. We did what they say do. So that was the worst time of my life. When you think that something like that's going to happen, and then you meet the creator of the earth who came down in flesh, teaching forgiveness and love. Oh, this is really wonderful. And you know, he loves you too. Just like that. Just like that. And let me say, in my many years of living, as an old lady. I want to tell you, he's wanting to talk to you. He has stuff to say to you. Just because life is taking you maybe in a different direction, he already knows. He already knows. And look, you're still alive. You're here. He wants to talk to you, each and every one of us, every hour of the day. He's the best friend you'll ever have. That's what he did for me. Amen. Aren't you glad that Jesus said those beautiful, precious words? Neither do I condemn thee. 
Go and sin no more. How many of you say I've received of that same Jesus those wonderful words that he does not condemn us? Amen. What a wonderful Jesus that we serve. Amen.